Meet my family. Creating these Christmas memories and sharing them during Vlogmas has easily become a tradition for us. We are so excited about this season and we hope you are too. Merry Christmas! absolutely no idea what day it is <laughs> I also could not tell you the last time that I vlogged alone I don't even know am I too bright I can't tell I have some errands to run so I figured I would take you guys along I might get a little bit of Christmas shopping done for like family members but I do want to try to be back by lunchtime so I doubt I'll be able to get much done so I just already dropped off a package and i ordered groceries which i have just been going in the store but i went ahead and ordered them because i had like a so much money coupon thing um so i went ahead and just ordered them and i'm not going to have to worry about loading them unloading them they're just going to be on the porch when i get back um and if anything cody will have already put them in the house so um won't have to worry about that so i do go ahead and get that done so i got one more package to drop off i need to get me some coffee it's already almost 11 o'clock um i made breakfast cody tried everything in the world to try to get me not to leave so i finally got out of the house make a return to the lob to the hob to lob you are not on a tripod so I'm not gonna leave you up here Backing up slowly, not to knock you off. I'll see you when we get where we're going. Oh, they must be giving something away here at the log. I ain't never seen this parking lot this before, ever. I'm a little scared to go in. I almost want to leave my coffee, because my hands are gonna be full. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna put it where it's not in the sun. Not in the sun. All right, stuff has been returned. It was two pictures that I, I did not like so um, I'm not going to try to replace them right now I just want a bowl and because I didn't have the receipt they just used my card and looked it up that way so I didn't even know they could do that now um, but I want a dough bowl and I want some ornaments in it for my table I mean maybe but when I finally get done doing the table like sanding it and doing all the things will this look crazy on top of it is the question so I wonder if I should do black, not, not that one, that one gets headed. Um, if I should do black with my new black chairs. It's half off of 25. It kind of just looks really weathered. That's not the vibe. That's not the vibe either. <laughs> All right, I ended up in Marshall's. I decided not to try to be back for lunch. Cody's gonna have to man lunch. So getting some gifts. Yeah. Been wanting a nativity scene for me. The kids have a play one. I like that one, it's 15 bucks. Mila's obsessed with nightgowns. I did just order a few from Target. I love these and those. One day I'm gonna get me some holiday table dinnerware things. Finished in Marshall's. Am I bright? Am I dark? I don't know what I've done to this camera. I've done something to the settings. So I need to reset it because I feel like it always starts off too bright and then I turn it down and I don't know. And the sun is not, not helping. Um, I ended up not finding anything in Hobby Lobby that I really like to the point of me needing to paint it as far as like the bowl went. So, uh, I'm just going to wait on that. Um, and there was just so many people in there. I come to the conclusion that everybody just waited until after Thanksgiving to go in there and start shopping. And I'm telling you, they were like crazy as if the stuff had just been put out. I don't understand. <laughs> um, I just can't. Uh, because I like that as soon as, de as soon as December starts, I want to be done. And it takes me weeks to get my stuff done. And if I started after Thanksgiving to try to get decorations up, I would not be able to enjoy it. So that's one of the reasons I go ahead and get it done. Um, but I'm telling you, them people were going crazy in there. They were like... Adding like they had hit the jackpot on stuff and the sale weren't no different. It was still 60% off like it was the other week when I went in there. So I don't, I don't know. I did get quite a bit of the shopping that was left over done. Um, trying to figure out what to get my sister-in-law. Um, 
but I got everybody on my list except for her and my brother, which I know what I'm getting him. I just need to get it somewhere else. Um, I'm gonna do like a, a basket filled with different things. His birthday is Christmas Eve, so um, he's always got shafted. Never been big on gifting or even receiving gifts anyway, uh, but I try to always get one for each or at least one big one. So I'm going to do sort of like a, almost like a housewarming gift. He doesn't have a new house, but that's what I'm, he needs some like house stuff. And sometimes, you know, as a man, he just don't want to buy it for himself. So I'm going to get all of the things that I suggested for him and just put it in a hamper and give that to him. Mama's getting him some, um, a, a cookware like a frying pan or something girl what kind of parking did you do i still have to go to ups drop cody's um thing off back there and mila has asked i'm just now getting all of cody's text messages I ordered the groceries and he was like, are you getting all the, cause you know, if you, if you've done Instacart, they like message you to let you know if something's in stock or to ask for, you know, suggestion on something to replace it. And I am typically like right on it cause I want to make sure I'm getting exactly what I want. And there was no service in there. And it looked like I had service, but I was getting nothing. Cody called me. He was like, are you getting my text messages? No, I just got them. So I don't know what time he sent them. All I know is the groceries are already on the way there and I didn't even get one single message because I, I don't know what. There's something about um, the shopping center over here. I don't get it. So I need to go to UPS, but what I was saying is Mila is obsessed with our neighbor Santa. She has one of those vintage, um, what is it, like the blown, you know what I'm talking about? The plastic um, Santa, old school. I love it too. I keep picking at her and telling her I'm just gonna go over there and take it and put it in my yard. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, but she she loves it. And every day that it lights up, you know, when it gets dusk, she runs to the window and says, Mama, look, it's Santa Claus. Look, Mama, Santa Claus. And I'm like, yes, baby. Come on, let's go see Santa Claus. And I'm like, no, baby. So um, I think... I think I'm gonna try. I know it's late because they are already were probably almost didn't have any at all. But I think I'm gonna try to go to Lowe's because they did have somewhat of a similar Santa. I'm just gonna see. I probably could just look online and see what they have in store. Um, but I'm just gonna run in there just to see. We do have those wooden deers that we put out, but um, the baby deer is missing its um, ears. <laughs> I don't know what it I don't know what it looks like out there. So it was the daddy mama and the baby deer So we didn't put out a baby deer last year. So I feel like we just need something else So I'm gonna run by UPS drop this stuff off Walmart might have had something but do I want to go to Walmart and Lowe's? I mean Walmart is near UPS So maybe I just run in and if they don't have anything then I go to Lowe's it will be cheaper than Lowe's Let's be let's be for real. All right. Let's let her go by Hey girl, go on girl. Are you parked next to me? Yes. Not a good sign. There's a fire truck sitting outside of Walmart. Mm, I don't see an ambulance. Last Christmas, I gave you my name. <laughs> Last Christmas, um, there was a man laying down in the garden center and there was paramedics and stuff. I think he slipped and fell or something, I can't remember. And, Cody was like, should I ask if, if he needs somebody to drive his vehicle home? Or I was like, what? This man don't know you. Like, I, boy, do I appreciate you're such, you have such a good heart, but this man don't know you from Adam, and he don't know that you're good. Like, I know that you're good. Like, we just don't, we don't know that people's bad when they're bad. So, I'm like, no, 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 don't. Do not ask him that. So, I don't know what happened, but now I'm like, something had to have Something happened to have popped off here. What is that fire truck to be sitting out here with its lights flashing? Uh, so, if you follow the news um, and you're not from my home county, then you wouldn't know that there was a shooting at the Walmart in Lumberton, which is not my hometown, but it's the neighboring city. Um, one of the neighboring cities. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I think somebody said it was over a TV. That could just be rumors. I don't know. But regardless, people are full of the devil. 
they're ignorant and they're full of the devil and I will never understand. So that makes me nervous. I really, this is another reason why I don't like taking my kids out this time of year like to shop and stuff because you just never know what's going to pop off and I would much rather be by myself if something happened than with them. How many of y'all have seen somebody repaint one of these on social media? I've only seen a hundred. That one must be the only one they got left and he looks like he's had a hard day. I see there's a bunch of of course blow up mess up there but that's not what we're after. At this point like I said I don't even know if they got anything left. Uh, blow mold. I think that's what they're called. I'm here to say having kids will make you do things you said you would never do. <sighs> this does not make me like them anymore and i feel like y'all are getting y'all are catching my drift as to what i'm about to say i just bought one of them stupid blow up things <laughs> that's all they had there's one jack's um santa which she does like jack but y'all i do not want to have a i'd rather have this blow up santa than jack dressed up as sandy claus in the yard He's about this tall and he probably costs about as much as that does i'm still gonna go to lowe's um if they have something that i would prefer then i'll just bring this back in my defense it is six and a half feet tall <laughs> um but it doesn't look like the plastic it looks like velvet it's like a different feel and then of course i get on my phone to look at walmart.com as i'm in line and find a four foot one for like 17 dollars I paid 55 for that one, but it's not that same velvety looking material. It's that plastic looking. So we'll see. All I know is my young'uns is going to be slam excited. And that is worth all of the stupid air blow up mess. I can't believe I just bought them. Maybe I can find, maybe I can find something else. Santa and all his glory. Daddy is getting ready to hook it up. Here's the one that I went with. Um, indoor, outdoor use. Who would put this inside? It's six and a half feet tall. <laughs> what the crap. Um, but you see how he's like shiny. That velour, whatever. Rosy. Um, I kind of want to get something to go next to him. I've seen um, the air blown, not air blown, what are they? Blow mold present stack. I think that would look really good next to him because I feel like he's just going to look real odd by himself. I would like to do a tree next to him, but if I did a tree, it'd have to be taller than him because it kind of looks funny, right? Or maybe not. Crap, I don't know. I don't want to do two blow up things. I'd rather do something else that wasn't, who knows, I, may, I might change my mind. 
I don't know. We'll see how much I like this. We'll see how loud it is. That's one of the main reasons I don't like these. Shiny. Can you can you tell? It doesn't look I mean it's clearly I mean it's plastic, but there we go. You can tell better. It's almost like a Christmas stocking velvet. But of course not as thick and luxurious. They are both still peeling sleep. I did want to show y'all a few festive things. I got Reindeer cake pops when they wake up. These looked interesting on the grocery order, so I got some of those. I'll let y'all know how those are. Um, this is to go along with the elf. Um, not that we needed both of these. <laughs> um, I didn't even think they would have them in stock, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all everybody always talks about these, but have you had these? Honey, I would throw this in the trash if somebody said, I'll give you a lifetime supply of these. If you never eat one of them, I'd say yes. <laughs> never eat another one of them? Yes, I would take this. They are so much better. But um, I went ahead and grabbed those because the closer you get to Christmas, the harder they are to find. And the expiration date is like what? January 5th. Um, so I've seen somebody make like a dip and we have a Christmas breakfast party thing. I might end up using those to make a dip. I don't know. I'll look into it. These we just eat. They're just so good. I did get a holiday cheer wine, which is already a punch in that. So you don't have to add anything to it. But honey, we love cheer wine. I know it's a North Carolina thing. I feel like they have it in other states too, but it was originated in North Carolina from what I remember. Um, so this has cheer wine, pineapple juice, and ginger ale already in there. It is amazing. Morning. So welcome to another day of Vlogmas, within Vlogmas. <laughs> uh, I washed my hair last night and then I left it in this for hours while I worked on, at the computer. I said I was gonna go work for 30 minutes and I ended up working for um, two and a half hours. <laughs> and then I ended up staying up another two hours because I could not fall asleep. But the goal today um yes to get this hair done so once i got it from the computer i came and put some product in my hair braided her and just two um piggy tails that's the easiest thing for me to do it helps just to um separate it and helps it dry some so that i can blow dry it with my blow dry brush um I think it's the healthiest this way. I feel like I don't have to. It's the husband. I think I'm going to try to swing by the DMV. Do you need anything out of town? Thousands of dollars. Yes, we need, we need hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes, can you make that happen? I cannot, sorry. Well, don't ask. If you can't, <laughs> if you can't come through don't offer i got this set during like black friday because i was you know, see I'm, i don't want to run out of this not that there's gonna be a little while but they had this little set with two other things i've never used from olaplex and i am really a fan of them um i'll put all my favorites down below i was tired and wasn't thinking and did not get to do my number three which is I did just get a new thing of number three um, that repairs and strengthens all hair types. So you put this on damp hair, right? Uh, yes, damp towel dried hair. Um, and you let it sit before you even go and wash it. So I typically do that, but a lot of times I'm about to get in the shower and I'm like, crap, I didn't do the number three. <laughs> so that's got to be like a whole planned out thing. But I have the number six. This is number seven and then number nine. So six and nine I've never used. Um, my hair is still damp-ish. When I'm doing a blowout, I do the Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This helps with um, frizz. So it says, award-winning humidity sealant stops hair from becoming a hot mess and even the highest humidity activated by heat, long-lasting and lasts through three to four shampoos. So it's been a hot minute since um, I washed my hair and I don't remember if I used this the last last time or not so I'm just going to use it again this time but I do love that it lasts and I don't have to use it every single time I redo my redo my hair so 
I do this in sections. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take down a section. I am going to move my stuff closer to the kids because they're in there watching TV. So I'll be able to like peek out and watch them. So I hopefully will at least be able to blow dry one side. Kind of show y'all what I do. I did upgrade to the Lange. I think it's better than the Revlon. Um, I'm not one of those Lange. I feel, I feel like there's like affiliate people for them. I'm not one of those people, but I do really like this. So I'll use this and then I have my Paul Mitchell flat iron which I will smooth it. The last time I did my hair was before we went to Disney and I did not put a flat iron on it because I knew I was going to have it up. I knew it was going to be humid. I didn't even want to fight it. And boy, by the time we got back, <laughs> it was a hot mess. But I was so busy and still could not find time to do it. So finally, today's the day. Let's collect all our belongings. Literally, I have so many things. Coffee I'm still working on. Gladly it has a slide lock thing I'm a bobber. Let's take all the things and shuffle in here. Looking like Wednesday Adams. Boys in this bathroom minions costume. <laughs> my most realistic thing ever. When I put on it last night, I do wash it with the shampoo and the conditioner, the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I also, hi. I use the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner and then um, rinse all the conditioner out. I get out and I put uh, my Paul Mitchell relaxing balm serum stuff. And I also do the Aveda damage remedy stuff and i think i use some aveda smoothing serum something or another i put that on it oh and the way leave-in conditioner i spray that and then like i said i just brushed it in and braided it i normally try to like pull it tighter but i was just like let me just throw this mess up so i typically leave one side braided while i work on the other side ridiculously healthy and i owe it all to not putting nowhere near as much heat as I have in the past and good quality products. Yeah, that looks real, real healthy. And I do not want it soaking wet. That was the whole point of washing it the night before and letting it air dry. <laughs> but we want our hair to be able to open up to accept this product I'm about to put on it. Love this packaging because it had a little like lock thing in there so that it couldn't squirt out. It said this is a leave-in styling treatment, adds moisture, strengthens, and reduces frizz for up to 72 hours. Between this and that, y'all, my hair should not be frizzy. Plus, it's cold today. This is my kind of hair weather. This is a Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum and damp towel dried hair. Small amount. So we're gonna do a pea size. It's very liquidy, not greasy. So this is their bonding oil. So not only does this do like the normal things that oils does, which, you know, adds some more hydration back to your hair. I always have an oil on my hands before I get ready to like run my fingers through my hair to like help style it or like loosen curls or whatever. But this is also a heat protectant. So I like to put this on before I blow dry, flat iron, whatever and also use it as a finishing oil too um but it goes a long way so that was like two drops and because i will put it on again when i go to flat iron it later definitely don't want to overdo it i think a lot of people have issues with old plates because they don't know how much to use of it everything is like super concentrated you're really getting your bang for your buck all right now i'm going to section it off I feel like I don't do anything too like fancy with this. I just try to keep in mind how wide the section is so that I can do that whole section with the dryer to work smarter, not harder. So when you're making these sections, make sure that like these pieces that are hanging out of the sections won't get in the way of another section as you're blow drying. So you don't accidentally tug hair um, which is not good for your hair and also just ha it's going to make you stop what you're doing and have to readjust now for each section i spray this um blow dry. now with this it is important to blow dry it in that's the whole point it's it's, it's activated by heat so you have to blow dry that in you can't like spray it on and 
go out into the day um, you cannot do that I do like to concentrate quite a bit of heat up at my roots because that's where the it's like the curliest I do that and it doesn't take much effort and it's straight but I do need to seal everything in with a flat iron later um, so I will do that but let me just get back into this side one she is finished she will be a lot smoother by the time I get to flat iron it I have recently trimmed um, well I cut like two or three inches off um, I just still don't think they're even I let Cody, let Cody cut it. Um, I had made a, um, a hair appointment months ago and then my hairstylist ended up getting sick and I just haven't had a I haven't had time to try to reschedule it so it is what it is. I am a, y'all know I'm a cosmetologist by trade, but trying to cut my hair evenly across the back of my head is not, I can't do that. I don't know what kind of arms you got, but I can't make it, I can't do it the way I would want. So I'd just rather have somebody I trust do it. I trust Cody, but he ain't no hairstylist. So I got my gray popping. I have not colored my hair, y'all. Where is it at? My one, my one gray. Oh, oh, is that it? There it is. So when I first noticed this, I think it was after I had Mila. It was about this long, right around here somewhere. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna pull it. I didn't have any intentions of coloring my hair at that time. So I was just like, let's just see how much my hair is growing by using that as a guide. Um, and you see how long it is. And I've trimmed my hair multiple times. Obviously I've had a whole nother child since then. But um, I do want to color my hair something it's very mousy brown right now which is not my normal hair color it's just what it's turned into as i've gotten older and the different colors i've put on it but like all of this i would assume at this point is like virgin no colored hair maybe some of the ends have some very old hair color but i have not colored my hair since june of 2019. i like to do a really good flat iron job the first time after i blow it, blow it out so that it will last me long and I don't have to put any more heat on it as long as I take care of it in between. Um, I sleep on a satin pillowcase and if I remember, I will put on a like a satin scarf or a bonnet when I go to sleep. I don't, I don't always remember. If I do that, it will last me longer. If I do both of those things, brush it, you can um, wrap it around your head, you can twist it. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. I got the jamas. Yeah, them your jamas. <laughs> She's obsessed with nightgowns. So I'm just going to twist that side up until I can get to it. It will work on this side. On the menu tonight, I'm doing ground sausage and uh, ground turkey i'm doing baked spaghetti so i know it's loud but i feel like i needed to add that when i'm cooking this meat especially when i got sausage in there i like to make sure that i don't just cook it until it's not pink but i want it to start getting a little bit of that like crust on it you know what i'm talking about those of you that cook um meat <laughs> but i feel like that gives it more flavor now with that turkey you kind of have to be careful because if you overcook it it will be dry so i'm having to be really careful about this keeping an eye on it keeping it stirred up and just keeping a keep glancing at it make sure it's doing what i wanted to do and it is starting to see some brown we have our water boiling the difference that i'm going to do this time i gotta go turn that oven on so i'm going to do baked spaghetti which i do not do often if ever but the difference we did i did a baked ziti was a baked ziti back before my stove broke and um i put 
Alfredo, after the noodles cooked, I mixed that and then poured the red sauce, my meat sauce, over it in a uh, casserole dish and baked it with cheese on top. And it was phenomenal. Okay? So, there's something that I, at first I was like, eh, I don't know about mixing these two. But it works. Um, this is just the one I'm doing. I didn't get these for any specific reason. I do think the Classico is the brand I normally get. I've made Alfredo sauce in the past. It's good, but y'all, for convenience, just get me a jar of it. So, waiting on that. So, once those noodles cook, I will pour all that together, mix that up, pour it into a greased, probably 9 by 13 glass dish and put it in the oven. All the seasonings have been added. I need to give her a stir. I had to take her off the heat because, for whatever reason, red sauce pops everywhere. So I had to take it off the heat to even put the seasoning in it. I'll stir it here in a minute. I got to go ahead and add my skitty noodles. I've already salted. Ooh, forgot my three bay leaves. So we're going to open her. I took her back off the heat because I don't want to get devoured. Stir those in. We're going to let it come to a boil. Not like a crazy boil. But you know, just enough. There she goes already. Put the lid on her once she starts bubbling pretty good i'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer for like 20 30 minutes and then we'll assemble everything this should be done and all that getting ready to start assembling look how beautiful i'm going to taste test it first and then if it's good we'll pull out those bay leaves the noodles are ready we're going to do 375 it's preheated um until the cheese is good and melted on top everything's already cooked and good to go we just kind of want everything to like mesh together so that shouldn't take too long that would depend on your oven and this can be a little funny about red sauce so just to be on the safe side if you don't like it I'm just gonna save a little bit of the noodles without any rich. <laughs> any. Can hmm. I have apples? No, baby. Can I have apples? No, I gotta wash those apples. Out, out, out. On the top, we're doing some Parmesan and mozzarella. Parmesan, I think, is a little saltier, in my opinion. So, we're not gonna do as much. You can do whatever cheese you want. If you ain't gotten either one, throw some cheddar on it. But also, feel free to shred your own. I have nothing to shred it with, and I just do not have the time. I'm sure if I ever did shred it and I seen the difference, I would probably only ever want to shred it. Maybe that's why I've never done it. <laughs> I will cut corners wherever I can. Sandra Lee 2.0. And those of you that know who I'm talking about, you are my people. Just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more Italian seasoning on top. We're gonna cover with some foil. Peek in, check on it, probably in like 10 minutes, see what it's looking like. And um, if it's not melting, then we'll take it off after 10 minutes and let it do its All thing. Right, everything's done. I forgot to cook a veg. I was gonna steam some veggies, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I did clean up the kitchen while this was cooking, so all of that's done. Um, crescents in the air fryer, which are delicious. This turned out beautifully. We'll see if it tastes half as good as what it looks. Um, I did cook it for about 12-ish minutes, and then I took the top off, and I broiled it for like two, like 450, um, or 500, I can't remember what it was. And that really like, good and melted everything right, everyone's food is all plated including that we'll see so if he don't eat that then i got that he might not even eat that who knows clean baby <laughs> clean kitchen fresh batch of baked cookies i did not feel like pulling out a whole nother pan so yes some of them are touching but it's okay um now we're going to get them situated for bed mom and daddy's going to eat some of said cookies and watch some TV. What you think, buddy? Get out of here, bro. You wanna show show them how you walk? I <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where you? Hey, where you going? You going the wrong way? Look at him. That's the first. Oh, good job. Come on. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Olaf's night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. I pray the Lord, my children keep, and bless the night before I make. I pray the Lord, my children keep. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Night, night. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. She's not.